Thank you again. Uh, it's been a fantastic day. And so I'd like to talk a little bit about outcomes of robotic TME. And um, here is my disclosure slide. And I'd add an additional disclosure, which is that there's very little data about robotic surgery for rectal cancer. But as we discussed earlier, and, and hopefully I can convince you, the robot is an instrument, and we can consider this in the broad scope of minimally invasive surgery for rectal cancer. And, and we've seen some fantastic data presented today with uh, Professor Bonger as well. But um, I'd like to just kind of put us all on the same page. What do we know about minimally invasive rectal resection? Well, what's been established is that the short-term patient-related benefits exist, that it's a techni technically complex operation with high risk for conversion particularly early in the experience or in unfavorable patients. What's probably true is that it's oncologically equivalent. We certainly see the short-term data that the urinary function is probably equivalent, but what we need to improve is the quality of the mesorectal specimen, the resection margins perhaps, um, although um, this is an area where um, we're seeing that with increased experience, we're getting excellent results. Our ability to achieve on-block resection, as we talked about earlier today, and what we don't know is about sexual function, although there are some emerging data. I won't belabor this point. There are, have been a number of randomized trials, and we know that the long-term outcomes, um, at least from the classic trials, seem to be similar similar with MIS and open surgery, but the issue of CRM positivity has been raised and hopefully settled with color 2 and hopefully will be settled with ACASOG Z6051. We can see from the Korean trial on also in patients who all underwent chemoradiation therapy, um, we saw that the radial margin um, positivity rates were not different and also that the completeness of the TME specimen between open and laparoscopic surgery were similar but still there was a significant risk for incomplete uh, mesorectal dissection. So if we think about this, I think we, it's fairly safe to say that LAP is better than open when possible, uh, at least in terms of short-term benefits, oncologically equivalent. But the real question is um, the issue with robot and I would say again the robot is a subgroup of laparoscopy, if you will. And so perhaps that may be the best way to think about it, not a totally different procedure. This is what's been reported so far, just a selected uh, uh, review of the literature on robotic rectal cancer outcomes. If we look at um, the number of lymph nodes recovered or the rate of margin positivity, the anastomotic leak rates, pretty much in line is with what we would expect with open or now with laparoscopic surgery um, as well and there are very little long-term outcomes. We've seen some of this before. I point out the data from Yonsei, probably the largest experience thus far, um, and we can see that uh, the rate of local failure also quite in line with what we'd, one would expect, um, and we can see that it stratifies by stage as well in the right side.